But I've been looking at the Macy conferences, where which were these early conferences in the post World War II era, uh, that were um, brought together many people. It was a merger of the 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 biological sciences and the social sciences to talk about um, engineered life, pretty much, and engineered social systems. And it's not until you actually stop and look at all of the the careers that these people have around, you know, the ones that I'm familiar with, sociology or anthropology, but then things like biophysics and biosemiotics and ways in which life can be engineered as a computational system. And, you know, we, we spent a lot of time in the last video talking about the intersection of animation and computer assisted design, both within an animated pixel based format where you're animating a movie or some sort of, you know, art, digital reality um, or using computer assisted design to design synthetic life in a molecular engineering format. And so just to get in the headspace that it's both the tiny scale and the macro scale that they're looking at engineering things as small as a cell to as large as a cosmos. And they're trying to get this full spectrum dominance, which we've talked about often, but that our neurons in the way in which our brain thinks is, is communication both within our mind and consciousness and then how we communicate our thoughts out into the world is increasingly through signals intelligence that's digital, that is electronic, that can be measured and weighed and sorted and reinforced or dif diffused depending on what the end state is that one is the ultimate goal. And we, we feel like um, it's unbiased, but I think increasingly people realize that most of these systems have bias built into them and that they're not completely transparent, um, that the way in which algorithms are used and information is uplifted or suppressed is, is very intentional and um, comprehensive. <laughs> it's just, it's built into the whole program. So anyway, this image is simply looking at Turing, who was one of the first people to posit artificial life, uh, the, the continuum from mathematical logic and computing and information theory, all the way around to neural networks and neuroscience. And that was something that, you know, Joseph was very aware of was this idea of like the neural nets, artificial neurons, and then modeling that and then learning from that and then using that to apply back to living systems, both living beings and social systems.